Dove. To our God, 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 every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, 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 every praise. But I want to, uh, if you will, I just want to sing this, and I'm pretty sure all y'all know this. Take time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um. 
you know, right now I'm just loaning them to him. <laughs> 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 They're on loan. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we have it. Robert. All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, first of all, man, just this. I want to say awesome job putting this thing together. Who is that? Just the purple and gold. She's over there. She put this together. She gave her the color and she went with it. All you got to do is the whole color. And she goes, I appreciate everybody for coming. Um, of course, I'm up here to introduce the man in the hour, the man of God. Um, when I tell you he got a word for you guys, I'm only talking what I know. Uh, he, you know, the way that he delivers the, the word is so universal, it's so digestive. It's just, it's just easy to eat. So, so uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just talking. I said, man, I got to introduce this man. Let me write something down. But it, it's so much that I There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm going to get out of the way. You're the bad bio anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get out of the way so he can come up and, and bless you all. Like I said, give you all that spiritual food. You know, that yeah. like yeah. whole, so, uh, he is the man of the hour, the man of God. My pastor, Pastor Janelle. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Lord. For everybody doing this evening. Everybody doing good. Y'all sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, well, matter of fact, let's stand for these great uh, leaders. Come on, uh, apostles. Come on, come on. And the Lord. Come on. Take your seat. Uh, we thank God for this opportunity. Thank God for that praise and worship. Yes. And I counted the opportunity to be here with you guys on today. Uh, like they said, uh, Robert and, and Deborah and the kids, they all uh, became a member of our church down in. Uh, well, not down now. We're, we're down. So up no. uh, in, in Hampton, Georgia, a little small. Uh, small country church. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my wife, we've been pastoring 11 years now. Yeah. So, yeah. God, has, uh, God has really blessed us. Uh, and God, you know, when God tells you to do something, just understand and follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. Um, I was in our pastor's meeting this morning and uh, our bishop was talking to us about being led by the Spirit of Christ. Uh, and there's no, and he, he started off with this here. And he said, the best decision I ever made was following the Holy Spirit. And the worst decision I ever made was not following the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. right. Man, that, that just blew my mm -hmm. mind. That's simple, but Amen. so profound. Amen. And so just always uh, just uh, follow the lead of the Spirit. Um, I looked at, and I like to be in order. So when I was looking at the theme that they sent me, was, what was it, standing on the promises of God? Yeah. So I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be before you long, but St. Corinth, I'm, I'm a Bible preacher, so I'm going to give you five, I'm going to give you a lot. Uh, actually, in your uh, program, you have a place to take notes. What you see here, writing down, hear, what you hear, see, and write down, you retain about 70% of it. I'll say it again, what you hear, see, and write down, you retain 70% of it. So it's always good to uh, write it down, put it in your iPad, your notes. Uh, that way, when you go home and Maybe you don't have me, you don't have a pasta dead, a pasta, uh, come on. You just, you know, you want to you wanna make sure that you have something to write down. So first, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20, very familiar scripture first, or I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20, it says, for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. 
And so today, just very simple, I want to talk to you from this subject, God made me a promise. Amen. Come on, can you shout that way and say, God made God me a promise. God made me a promise. promise. A promise is a declaration or assurance that something will, uh, or something particular thing will happen, or some uh, particular thing will come to pass. And so that's what I'm saying, that I don't know about you, I haven't had a chance to meet each and every one of you, but I don't know about you, but God made me a promise. So when you just look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, God made Made me a promise. You know, maybe if you don't want to share your promise with your neighbor, if you don't want to share it with the person across the room, just begin to reminisce that thing that God told you about. Maybe five or ten years ago, He said, "I want to do this in your life. I want to show you this. I want to take you there. I want to. I want you to do this uh, part in ministry." And many of times, if we're not careful, we'll allow life to cancel the promise of God. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, I'm preaching to somebody. Oh, yes. Sometimes we'll allow. The life, anybody just understand that life be life and come on somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm real too, I'm, I'm not grew up in the hood too, so I'm trying to put all that together. Right? So life be life, life be life. It be life. Like Apostle Dad said when she came in, y'all, I ain't, I ain't gonna get disturbed about everything not going right. Every, but guess what? When God makes you a promise, it doesn't matter what comes your way. It don't matter how long it's been since He told you. Look at your name one more time. Say, but He made me a promise. He made me a promise. Y'all better be glad I got no keyboard. So let me give it to you in the NIV, NIV version. It says, for no matter how many promises. God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us uh, to the glory of God. So can I give you three points? Because I'm, I'm going to give you points. So I'm going to give you some points, something to write down. Uh, because, okay, this is what you need. I need all right, come on. Sir. I, I need this video too when I uh, when you get finished. All right, three things about God's promise. Everybody say three things. Three things. Three things. Number one, he is faithful that promise. He is faithful that promise. Hebrews 10, 23, just write it in your notes. Hebrews 10, 23, come on, apostle. Y'all know the scripture. It said, let us hold fast to the what? Profession of our faith without what? Wavering. For he is faithful that what? That promise. That promise. God can make us a promise, but the scripture says that we should not waver. Come on, somebody say waver. Waver. Waver because what you have to understand that if God spoke it, that the Bible says that God is not a man, that he should not lie. Come on, somebody. So it don't matter what's going on right now. It doesn't matter your circumstance. It don't matter the way that you're riding right now. If God said it, somebody say, if God said it, I believe it, and that sells it. So the first thing you got to know about promises is that you got to understand that God is faithful yes. to the promise. Come on, somebody say he's faithful to the promise. He's faithful to the promise. Number two, number two, real quickly, he is never late concerning his promise. Right. Right. He is never late concerning his what? It's from 2 Peter 3 and 9. Come on, we know the scripture. It says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count as slackness. Men. It says, oh. but it's long suffering yes, to us work that yes. not willing yes. that any should perish, that yes. all should do what? Come to repent. Let me help you real quick because you think God operates on your time. Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that's where you messed up at. God don't operate on your time. Amen. See, he might be late on your time, but he's not late in his time. Oh, yeah. Because we know that all things work together. Come yeah. on, somebody. And just because, this is what I said, uh, I told my church a couple weeks ago, or uh, maybe last week, Brother Robert, that God is not limited to a deadline. Come on. Yeah. Right. We can take over and go home yeah. right now. He is not limited to a what? Deadline. Yeah, you have a deadline, but God say, I can break all Come rules on. and Come regulations. On. Come on Yes, sir. Jesus. That's it right there. Yes, God's not limited. I, I, I'm about to mess up. He's not limited to your deadline. So, number one, we said that God is faithful to the promise. Yeah. Number two, he's not late concerning the promise. Yeah. But then, number three, you got to understand that every promise will find its yes. Yeah. Every promise will do what? Find its yes. yes. You might be here no after no, uh -huh. but when God promises you, it will find its yes. Uh, let me give it to you because it's the same scripture in the same, just in a different version in 2 Corinthians 1 and 20 in the Amplified uh, uh, in the Amplified Classic, it says, for as many are 
uh, are the promises of God. They all find their yes. Come what does that mean? That because yeah. a lot of us, we get frustrated when we hear the word no. Come on, man. Some of you, you might be dealing with the spirit of rejection. Come on here, somebody. Come on, you don't like to hear that Preach simple it. word. Yeah. But what I found out that if there's a no out there, that means there's also a yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. If there's a no out there, that means it's also a yes. yes. Tell your neighbor, say, don't stop till you get your yes. Don't stop till you get your yes. Don't just tell me. Tell your neighbor, say, don't stop till you get your yes. You don't know the person that wanted to give up before they came today. But tell your neighbor, say, don't stop you must understand about the promise to under, understand that he is faithful to the promise he is not late to uh, about the promise but then number three that every promise will find but yes i don't know i've been in this thing for a long while and every time god said he was going to do something he made it happen come on somebody and every time he said he's going to bring me out he brought me out every time he said he's going to take me through and let, let me help you because when it comes to the promise we we, we get so we get so down because we're in a thing called process. Uh, I say process. Right, right. Have you ever been in a process where process, you know, it, it don't feel good, it don't look good. Or let me say it, it don't feel like the promise. It don't it don't act like the promise. It don't feel like the promise. But tell your neighbor, say I'm just in the process. I'm just in the process. So let me give you what did God promise us? What did God promise us? And I only got five of these, so you got your three points already, right? Amen. All right, so let me give you five more because I, I believe in giving you a Bible and giving you a point so you can go home and say, I don't know who that little nigga was from Georgia. <laughs> he, he done gave me some points to go home to live by. So what promises did God give? Number one, he gave a promise to save. Come on here, somebody. For the Bible declared that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be what? Saved. Uh -uh, that's Romans 10 and 13. Team, write it down. And listen, we got to make sure because we have made uh, being saved so hard these yes, days. We, you know, we don't made That's it about it. what you're Come wearing, on. what you got on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But God said, whosoever yeah. shall call yeah. upon the name yeah. of the Lord shall be what? Let me bring a little balance to it because you can get saved and if you don't renew your mind, you will go back Come and on. do that. Yeah. 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 And everybody know what the Michael Jackson is at that backslide. <laughs> So, so it's easy to be saved, but you got to renew your mind to keep the salvation. Come on, get somebody. So we got to understand the first thing that God promised us that if we'll just call upon the name of the Lord, we shall be what saved. But then number number two, number two, uh, his he promised to never leave. God promised to what never leave. We know the scripture in Hebrews. Uh, chapter 13, verse number 5, in the latter part of the verse, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Y'all sound like we got a Bible church in here today. He said he'll never leave us or what? Because have you ever felt like you, have you ever felt like God wasn't there with you? Anybody? Anybody? I mean, it was like you was going through life and you was like, God, where are you? God, where, what's going on? Have you ever been in a valley in your life where the valley, y'all know about a valley, right? The valley is a dry place. Come on here. I mean, in a place where you can't sense nothing, you can't feel nothing. I mean, all you see is dry. I mean, it's like you just stagnant. You just, I mean, in a place where you are almost stuck in quicksand. Oh my God. But you got to understand what God said. He said, I'll never leave you nor do what? Forsake you. So what does that mean then? That means that no matter where you are in your life, God is there with you. If you're in the valley, guess what? God is in the valley. Come on here somebody. I'm about to get excited. I'm trying to calm down. Your neighbor say, God is right there with me. Right there. Right there. Right there with me. For the Bible declares, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I what? Why do I fear no evil? Why? Number one, number one, see, don't you mess with my sermon. Number one. Come on now, I'll make you get up here and preach with me. I don't have no fear no 
number one, because God is with me. Right. And number two, I have no fear because it's only a shadow. Right. I came to let you know a shadow of a gun ain't never shot nobody. A shadow of a dog ain't never bit nobody. A shadow of a man ain't never hit nobody. Tell your neighbor, it's just a shadow. You got to understand that the devil, he works in facade. He likes to come out. The Bible says that he walks about as a royal Seeking whom he made the vow. Right. And what you gotta understand, the devil trying to come and get you and get you to walk and operate in fear. Yeah. Tell the yeah. yeah. devil ain't got no power. The devil ain't got no power. Y'all yeah. ain't preaching to your neighbor. Preach to your neighbor. Say the devil ain't got no power. No, no power. power. Yes. Somebody say he has no power. He has no you power. Gotta understand that God say he's with you everywhere yes. you go. So number one, what do we say? What are the promises? Number one, he promised to save. Yes. He promised to never yes. leave. Yes. But then number three, we already quoted it. He promised to never lie. That's right. Come on. He promised to what? Never lie. I, I don't care. I don't care what you're facing right now. If God said it, I believe it. And that's so. And that what? Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say it's settled. It's settled. You might not can see it, but it's settled. You might not can understand it, but it's settled. Come on here. You might not can feel it, but it's settled. It's settled. Tell your neighbor, say it's settled. It's settled. Can I just share something with you real quick? Uh, I'm going to calm down just a little bit because God told me some things. He showed me some things. He began to show me. He said, listen, uh, you know, they, they call me DJ, so I talk to myself like DJ. I said, DJ, God said he's going to do this. He was going to do that. Let me share this testimony with you. I was at a church and we were sharing facilities just like uh, the apostles are here. And God talked to me one day. He said, it's time for you to get up from there, from where you are, and go somewhere else. Right. And let me just share this with you. I went to my board and I told my board, it says, it's time for us to go. It's time for us to go. My whole entire board, they said, no, nah, we just, I don't think we're supposed to go. We was in a, ca in a town called McDonough, Georgia. Oh, and, and, and we was going to go only 14, what was Eight miles. Who's gonna go to only eight miles from where we were? Mm -hmm. And the whole board said, No, no, no. I don't think we're supposed to do that. I went to my bishop. My bishop is actually my father, and my first lady is my mother. So, you know, I went to them. They was like, Yeah, I think we read away. But God said, Listen, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. And I was riding by this church every day. I live in the city of Hampton now. And I was riding by, and God said, That's your building. First day of the fast in 2016. 2016, I woke up. And I didn't even say hey to Jesus. He just said hey to me. Yeah. I woke up. When I woke up, he said, you, you're supposed to go to that building. Oh, my God. But what I did, because you know how it is, you know, you think sometimes you're operating in flesh. And so what I did to make sure I wasn't operating in flesh, I got up that morning, didn't even tell Lady Britney where I was going. I just hopped in my car and started riding all over the city trying to find different buildings. Because I knew where we are, where we were, was not the place we were supposed to be. Oh, my God. Come on here. And so I, I began to just ride around there. Still didn't get in peace. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to know my dad. He called me the same time every day. Uh, every day he called me at the same time, about 7.30 every single day. And so he called me on Wednesday, even when everybody said no. Everybody yeah. said, no, I don't yeah. think we're supposed to go there. It's not our target audience. That is not our target uh, uh, city, right? And so my bishop called me. He said, he said, uh, God told me to tell you to take the lead on where y'all going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, But I hung Jesus. up the phone because I said, no, nah, we ain't going to do it until God say to tell my bishop. So I said, yes, sir. Even though he told me Monday morning, he called me on Wednesday and said, God said, take the lead. But I, that wasn't the right answer. Mm -hmm. So I said, yes, sir. Hung up the phone, went the whole day. Yeah. Thursday morning, I, I don't even think he made his whole prayer time. He didn't call me at 730. He called me early. He said, Jamal, we're supposed to go to that building. In, in Hampton. I said, yes, sir, God told me on Monday. He said, he just told me on my knees. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm 
I'm going to share this with you. And, and we begin, we begin to go, we went, and we went, and, and we went from sharing a facility to sharing a facility. Come on, here's somebody. Y'all didn't catch it because it don't look like the promise. It don't feel like the promise. Come on, it don't act like the promise. And so here we are still sharing a facility. And I let you know, Brother Robert, two and a half years later, the people we was reading from got up and walked out and said, we gone. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> well, who do we pay our rent to? I said, wait a minute, who do we? They said, well, just, you know, the assemblies of God. We all know the assemblies of God, the first assemblies. And come on, we know the assemblies of God. I went there and they said, listen, we don't want renters. And matter of fact, they said, who are you and what are you doing? Come on, come on. Your voice not acting like the promise. Come on, come on. 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 We've been paying our rent every every first of the month for two and a half years. I got all my records. I got all my check stuff. Come on. And he told me this. He said, well, they got their money, but I didn't get my money. Oh, wow. Come on. It don't work like the premise. God told me, he said, uh, he looked at a one guy came to my church, stood there, Brother Dark, you remember this, stood in my church, and we was going to get ready to buy the building. We only had about 30 members. And when I say 30, see, because people, you know how we count. We had 30 members. Half of them was sure. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just like Deborah said, you know, we'd be fooled with multiply. <laughs> So that's 10, all right. <laughs> I walked up to me in the middle. I was uh, preaching on a Wednesday night in the same building. Didn't look like the promise. Didn't feel like the promise. Didn't act like the promise. Right. And the guy, he told me, and, and here's the crazy thing. He worked for the company that we was going to use to buy the building. Wow. Okay. And he walked up in the building. He said, y'all can't, y'all can't, y'all can't buy this building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, yeah. He said, nah, y'all, y'all can't do that. Jesus. Mm -hmm. said, okay, the promise. Yes, Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let me show you. They told us, they said, listen, we know you, we want to give y'all first deal, but you know, maybe y'all, you know, maybe y'all can't do it, but we're gonna put a for sale sign in the church. We're gonna put a lock box and we're gonna allow people to walk through and take pictures mm -hmm. and look Jesus. and do everything. Mm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. A bishop came in. Come on here, what's your name? <laughs> So we called the whole church meeting. Well, my bishop called one. I was like, ah, I, don't, I don't think we're supposed to call no meeting. Because <laughs> I know what God told you. Yeah, right. Right. But we called a meeting. So y'all, we just want to tell y'all. But it's good to have some people that's going to pray. Can I tell you, nobody ever showed up to the building. They never put a lockbox on the building. They never put a for sale sign on the building. A year later, we bought that facility. $450,000. We're going to buy the building. And to, in order to buy the building, we need, I think, $59,000 to put down on the building. And we had about sixteen or seventeen, seventeen thousand dollars in the bank. Come on now. It was like, oh, okay, now that's that's some good ways from this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure if y'all went to math class. <laughs> <laughs> ways. We ain't talking about fifty-nine dollars. We talking about fifty-nine thousand, not fifty-nine hundred. Who got the thirty-nine thousand from? The people that we was gonna buy the building from mm -hmm. actually gave me a check to write them a check. Y'all ain't listening. It's just like you paying me to pay you. Come on. Yeah. All right. All right. When yeah. God yeah. makes you a promise, He owes you a promise. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's right. Right. Yeah. Uh, she said, Lord, I'm in dire need. I need some groceries. I need some groceries. Mm. Lord, so she went out in the yard. She began to say, Lord, I thank you 
for the groceries. God, I thank you you're going to send somebody. That's God, I, I just thank you you're going to give me some groceries. Mm-hmm. So she stayed next door to an atheist. Mm-hmm. And the atheist was sitting outside, Brother Rob. He was looking out the window and said, look at this fool out here asking God. Yeah, so he said, you know what? I'm going to go down to this store. <laughs> and I'm going to buy her some groceries. <laughs> so he went down and bought some groceries and rung the doorbell and ran back in the house. Because he wanted to see her make a, a fool of herself. So he, he bought the groceries. I mean, he got two carts for you. He laid right. it on there, mm-hmm. rung the doorbell, ran back to his house and looked out the out the blinds like we do when the Jehovah Witnesses come out. <laughs> on the front porch mm. and she ran back out in the yard yeah. and said thank you for my groceries yeah. God I thank you y'all see y'all y'all thought the story was over uh-huh. Uh-huh. God came back out and he said wait a minute what you praising God for Jesus. he said God didn't bring you those groceries mm. yeah. she said well where the groceries come from mm. he said well, I bought them groceries mm. and she starts shouting again yeah. <laughs> and he said Woman, what's wrong with you? Yeah. She said, even if you got to use the devil. over 7,000 square feet. Why? Because God made me My two biggest givers, they got up, walked out the church, left with 13 more people. I told you we had 30 people, right? I just told you 13 of them left. Oh, God. Mercy, When God makes you a promise. Yes. Over 130 members right now. Even though I got some longer members as He made a promise to save. He made a promise to never leave. He made a promise to never lie. Number four, he made a promise to heal. Yes. He made a promise to do what? Heal. To heal. Did I, let me give you a scripture for that one. Exodus 23, 25. It says, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall do what? Bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Y'all got to write that scripture down. You're going to find yourself in some places where you're really going to need some healing. Yeah. Uh, Exodus 23, 25, he said, if you'll serve me, I'll heal you. Yeah. He said, if you'll, if you'll serve me, he said, I'll bless your bread and your water. And he said, he'll take the sickness and the disease away. Uh, I believe I'm a good storyteller. So can I tell y'all another story? Come on. Oh, Jesus, come on here. Yes, and so, uh, Apostle Lord don't make this good corn uh, salad or corn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, geez, I feel real good. I'm going to take this on and go. Oh, no, we're going to fight, sister. <laughs> I'm 41 years old, just turned 41 in April uh, of last month, uh, 12th month, and I just turned 41. Uh, I, at the age of three, I was diagnosed, this was in 1986. I, I know I feel old right now, but in 1986, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, meningitis. Mm-hmm. And I used to have, uh, you know, we call them seizures, but back then they called them convulsions. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 And, and I had a hump in my back, mm-hmm. my right. hands, right. and my feet was humped. I couldn't walk. I would, I mean, I would go into a seizure and I would just knock my head up. I remember one time at three and a half years old, I was having a seizure and I was hitting my head up against the washing machine. Oh and I remember I, uh, they took me to the hospital and, and I was just, I mean, I was done. I couldn't walk. My parents had to grab me and walk. I'm some three and a half years old. I think I had my fourth birthday while I was in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And when I went to the hospital, uh, they diagnosed me, said I had meningitis. Um, 
uh, what was it? Uh, I can't say my, my menococcal meningitis. Back then in '86, yeah. uh, they had no cure for this. Mm-hmm. Right. Now right. you know they have all these right. things they can do, but in, 80, in 1986 they had no cure. Mm-hmm. And the doctors went to my parents and they said, "Listen." Your son gonna die. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't looking at the testimony. Right. 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 And, and matter of fact, he has the worst state he's ever seen in his house. And this is what they told my parents. They said this there was three kids that was just in the hospital and they just died. From my God. God. My God. And he has his work. My God. And they told them, come on, Pastor, you was ready to just let go. It don't feel like the first time. My father, my father. My father told me this at an early age. He said, God said, you're going to help me in ministry. Yeah. I'm going to help you preach the gospel. And so here come that old bald-headed, snagged to devil yeah. coming and trying to take my life. My yeah. Yeah. God had made sir. me a prime. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He did what he made me a prime. So what happened was my parents, my father, they got so, they were so down, they ended up leaving, going home. And I call this man my godfather, but he's uh, just been, been, I mean, just been very important in our lives. He stayed there with me. And even the doctor said, listen, call everybody you know can pray. Mm-hmm. This man of God by the name of Elder of Donald Gotell, he stayed there with me. Mm-hmm. He helped me mm-hmm. and prayed for me all night long. My, mm-hmm. my parents came to the hospital the next day. And I was laying in the bed, and I told my mom, I said, oh, Mom, I got to use the bathroom. And, and obviously, I was on the catheter, and she said, well, just you. I said, no, Mom, I'm going to the bathroom. She, she said, you can't get up. I said, no, I'm going to the bathroom. Mm, all right. She said, baby, she started crying. Baby, you can't walk. And I said, I'm going to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. She said, and usually as she put my feet on the floor, everything in my body straightened up. My my God. God. Oh, yeah. so amazing about that God told me, he said, everywhere you go to preach, I want you to Jesus. share that story. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime somebody invites you, he said, that's the story you should always yeah. tell. Yeah. 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 You should ask yeah. 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 the class they don't hurt this. <laughs> Nobody communicated with me concerning giving except you all. 
And he said, listen, because, and, and see, I can say this scripture to you guys because I know all of you are givers, all of you are tithers. Come on, here, somebody. Yeah. 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 Start, start today, tomorrow, whenever y'all have service. Mm -hmm. But God said, because you're a tither, because you're a giver, yeah. Paul said, I pray that God will supply all oh, your yeah. needs yeah. according to yeah. Yeah. according to yeah. according to yeah. his yeah. Yeah. According to his Listen, a lot of you, you are doing things based upon what you have in the bank. But can I let you know, when we got ready to purchase that church, we didn't have money. God said, we will supply. God said, listen, I said this right here. God will raise up somebody, somewhere, to use their ability, their authority, their resources, and their money just to bless me. Let me challenge you. You have to step out on faith. When God gives you a promise, listen, God's not going to give you a promise that you can do. He's going to give you something he can do. That's right. Yes. Come on now. When God gives you a promise, the promise is too big for you, but it's not too big for God. Listen, I don't need faith if I can do it. I don't need faith if I know how to drive. I don't need faith if I can do it. But God said you need faith when you can't do it. And God can do it. I want to challenge you, whatever God has promised you, whatever God has showed you in a vision, whatever God has showed you in a dream, whatever he's told you, Pastor, whatever he said he was going to do, it's not too late. It's not too late. If you woke up this morning, it's not too late. If you still got breath in your lungs, it's not too late. For the Bible says that all the promises of God will find their yeah. yes. Yeah. When you leave this comfort, when you leave this uh, uh, this uh, pastor appreciate of uh, the church anniversary today, I want you to leave and you say, I'm going to find my years. Yeah. 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 Everything God showed. Yeah. I mean, everything. Yeah. Listen, I said this way. If God showed yeah. it to you in a dream, most of the time it happened at night. Mm -hmm. But if God showed it to you in the nighttime. He can show it to you in the daytime. Yes. Right. 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 If he show it to you in a dream, he can make it manifest in yes. the natural. Yes. Yes. Tap your neighbor real quick and say, go find your years. Go find your years. Tell your neighbor, say, he gave me a promise. And I'm not stopping until the promise is fulfilled. I'm not stopping until I see everything God promised me. I'm not stopping until I be and do everything God has called me to be. Believe it or not, this is my my first invitation across the Georgia line. I oh, preach all over yeah. Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. I, travel, I travel all places going with my bishop. I travel with my bishop. We've been, we've been to, uh, I mean, LA. We've been to uh, Virginia Beach. We, I mean, we've been all over the country. We've just been going. I mean, I mean, we've been going, and God said, listen, what he did for him, I'm going to do for you. Yeah. 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 Y'all just started the process. Come on. Yeah. Come on. We already talked about it so much more yeah. about to happen. Yeah. 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 Some of you need to hear this word today. Yeah. Don't give up on your dreams. Yeah. Don't give up on your vision. Yeah. yeah. Listen, a lot of times what happens is you get anointed to, to do a thing and then the devil comes up and he shows up his ugly head. But I can't let you know that if the devil is fighting you, that means miracles. Hey, yeah. 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 Anytime there's a major fight in your life, there's a major fight in your life. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care what's going on in your life. Stick to the promise. That's, yes, in my school, it says stand it on the promise. Yes, when you have done all to stand, yes, stand yes, on the word of God. Yes, if God yes, said it, I believe it, yes, and that's yes, it. Say it with me. Say, if God said it, yes, God said it, it, I believe it, I believe and, it, it and that's settled. Yes, 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 can, can we just grab hands today? We're going to pray. Is that good, Apostle? Yes, 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 yes. can, can we pray? Can y'all just stand with me if y'all don't mind standing? Hallelujah. Can we just lift up our voices and just give God a praise? Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory, God. We give you honor, God. Brother Doc, will you uh, 
Lord, will you do this for me? I love you, Jesus, real quick. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're just going to sing this worship. We, I mean, the atmosphere here, y'all. I'm telling you, it's, it's here. And I believe God is doing something in all of our lives as we touch and agree today. Come on, Brother Dor. I love you, Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes, yes. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Everybody, let's sing it together. Yes, yes Lord. I love you, Jesus. Yes. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, one more time. Thank you, Jesus. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the apostles on today, God. Oh, Father, I thank you right now. Pour out your spirit, even the more, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we pray for the vision and the, and the, the, the assignment that you have placed in their lives, oh, God. Oh, Father, I thank you right now, God. You are sitting in supernatural help, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh, Father, we thank you right now that you are creating doors of opportunity, God. You are creating doors of buildings and properties in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you right now, God. Oh, Father, we take authority over the evil force, God. We take authority over the devil now. Once again, 
again yes. joining with us and being here with us. Uh, look, anybody, <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I think everybody in here saying, y'all yeah, need prayer, y'all need prayer, need prayer. Need prayer. Need prayer. Need prayer. the Lord just bless them, continue to hear us, yeah. 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 whatever they say, love, is love yeah. oh God, yeah. continue to, to yeah. bless them right now, yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. Lord, I extend yeah. strength yeah. to the man of God yeah. right yeah. now. Yes, 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 yes,
say back in the church how you do with the money. <laughs> Yeah. 
business. Okay. <laughs> 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 I just had Romo in the corner because I already know that. Okay. They're all coming in the corner. Nothing's open. Because they're going to be coming in the corner. You just don't know. I'm so thankful. Yes. They have found, even if it is temporary. I'm <laughs> 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 